Okay, well, greetings. My name is Frank Fry, and this is episode one of the video part of the skirmish line. The written down part with pictures is uh, <clears throat> my blog on WordPress. And as the title might tell you in episode one, this is my basic philosophy of gaming. I figure if I'm going to review games, look at games, talk about games, you kind of need to know where I'm coming from. I have been gaming for over 50 years. I think I got my first board war game when I was 12 years old in 1960. That trusty old Tactics 2 by Avalon Hill. I was fascinated. I played the various Avalon Hill Classics games in high school and in the Army as well. Um... I play, my favorite probably was Africa Core, one of the all-time great classic games. I really liked that. Heck, even when I was in Vietnam, I used to play board games at our fire base. I remember playing the old Blue Zaki game, Battle of Britain, with one of the Air Force guys stationed there. I believe his name was Ray Henley. So... I'd already done board games. I think in 1972, I got started in uh, historical miniatures. And in 1977, I also got started in role-playing games. And I've been enjoying it all ever since. First of all, before I really launch into philosophy, I would really like to send a big shout-out of thanks to my charming and beautiful wife, Mame Wood, for all of her encouragement. She encourages me in this hobby. She thinks it's pretty cool, does what she can. She is the great love of my life. Yes, indeed. Now, onto a basic philosophy. What is my basic philosophy regarding games? I think it's probably fairly simple. If you're enjoying it, nobody's playing with you is enjoying it, it's a good game. Regardless if it's a board game or historical miniatures or role playing. Because to me, the entire purpose of gaming is to have fun. Now you may say, well, you know, what about winning? Well, you know, I'm going to, I think the best I ever heard statement about that comes from one of the great gentlemen of the hobby, Larry Brom, creator of the famous Sword in the Flames uh, rule set, colonial rule set, and a man who certainly probably had a little more experience than I've had. And it, when he said, you know, he told me one time, he said, you know, Frank, I think I probably lost more than I've won, but that's not the point. The point is to socialize. Okay, and I can go along with that. I enjoy playing games, and I enjoy playing games with my friends. I enjoy socializing with them. If I win, that's just icing on the cake. But the cake itself is the experience. That's how I look at it. Now, I know it's become popular of recent, especially with the rise of the Internet and Internet forums, for some people to troll like hell and bash games left, right, and center. For me, it's like, well, let's just say, back in the day, I think it was probably, oh, it was probably in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, I worked as a student assistant librarian at the University of South Florida. Some of the guys I worked with, like myself, were big Babylon 5 fans. Great science fiction show. I enjoyed it. But every week on some of these forums, this fellow named Theron, God, I keep wanting to say Theron Ware, but I know his first name was Theron, will get on there and just absolutely tear the show apart. And it struck me then as odd, if you really don't like it that much, then why are you watching it? 
Why are you wasting your time watching something you obviously don't like? And that's my philosophy. Why am I wasting my time playing a game that doesn't interest me? Now, I've tried a lot of games. And in fact, one of my other tenets is if you've played in my game, sorry about that. If you've played in my game, I will certainly go play in yours to return the courtesy. Because to me, it's a courtesy. So I like that. Now, you know, does this mean I'll run out and buy Warhammer 40K or whatever, any of the figures? No. I will play, though. I will play, and I'll, you know, it'll probably be an enjoyable experience, but it's just simply not a field or a topic I'm interested in, enough to go out and commit time and money. And... If you're expecting to hear this kind of ragadag bashing, it's not going to happen. I take a page from one of the best online reviewers, at least on YouTube, Kurt Weigel, man who I've had the pleasure of meeting. He does a review called Game Geeks, and he basically reviews games and game supplements, or RPGs, that he likes. The, uh, I've only seen him one time give a slamming negative review to a game product, and that was D&D 4th Edition. Kind of a shocker. Otherwise, he'll tell you about the games, even if they're games he probably doesn't play himself. He will at least throw on things like, if you're interested in this type of game, this type of gaming experience, and this set of rules will probably suit you. That's how I look at it. If you're interested in this sort of gaming experience, if this is what appeals to you, then these rules will suit you. I mean, after all, it's just a game. As far as the other stuff goes, and certainly we have the great, you know, um, gee, isn't it still too soon, say, to, to play a game about Vietnam? Well, I am a Vietnam veteran. Spent a year over there at the U.S. Army, and I got to tell you, I have no problem with it. Why? Because it's a game. It has nothing to do with the reality that I endured over there, that I was part of. Nothing. Hell, one of my favorite games is an RPG, a Savage World setting called Tour of Darkness, Weird, War, Weird Wars, Vietnam. I think it's a hoot. And yeah, I play it. Don't play it as much as I as I could, but I still enjoy it, and it's in my collection. That may also lead to giving you the idea that no, I'm not a real simulationist. Like I said, I've been to the real thing, and quite frankly, I don't really want to simulate it or any you know real closely on the miniature tabletop. I want to play a game. A challenging, enjoyable game with my friends. And that's what it is. And to me, that's what it's about. So if you're expecting to hear, like I said, slam dunk, ragadaga, you know, I hate, uh, you know, bottles and blowflies because it's this. Uh, why? If I'm not interested in it, I'm not going to bother with it. Why should I? Hell, I'm 65 years old. I got better things to do with my time than to sit around and indulge in a lot of negativity. So, that's my basic philosophy. It's here for my enjoyment. I do this because I enjoy it. And which also should give you some indication I'm really that much into competition games. You know, the great tournament games like Warhammer, Warhammer 40K, Flames of War, you know, I know a lot of people that play those games and play in those tournaments and enjoy it no end. More power to them. More power to them. That's what it's all about, enjoyment. And I guess that pretty well concludes it for now until my cat wakes up and oppresses me again. My next episode is going to be a look at my probably my all-time favorite 
platoon level set of rules, disposable heroes, slash coffin for seven brothers, and all its iterations by Iron Ivan Games. But until then, have fun, play games, because that's what it's all about.